What's up guys, Jason here from Old Blacks Media and today we're going to check out this tankless water heater from Camp Lux. Let's get to it. Let's check it out. Hose, water pump, some cables, more cables. Hey, right, the product itself. Very nice. Check it out, guys. Hose. And there's another hose. Let's see what's in this box. Alright, so this hose I think is for the water pump. Shower hose right there. And some hardware. Here it is a portable water heater. We're gonna have some hot water in the camp. This product is from a company called Camp Lux. They sent me this product. Thank you Camplux for sponsoring this video and supporting the build. I'm going to link it down in the description where you can purchase this product. All right, so just a quick rundown on the things that came with the product. So the water heater itself right here. Attached is a propane hose. Um, this one is a hose that will connect to the water pump. The water pump comes with all these uh, cables and connectors, just some uh, fittings right here to secure all these hoses and then the shower hose with a shower nozzle on and off is through this. Uh, there's also some kind of holder for the shower and the user manual. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Let's put this in the box and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Alright guys, so Here's the box that I got. It's a waterproof hard case. The dimension is 22 and a half inches by 16 and three quarter inch by eight and a half inch. Here it is. I got this from a local store here called Princess Auto in Canada. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove all this foam. We don't need this, so we're gonna take it out. We're gonna try and mount it on the shallow part because the connectors for the gas and the water it's gonna go through this bottom part and I don't wanna drill, so hopefully it can be elevated enough that it will just kind of plug in through here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the propane hose. I've used a um, adjustable wrench to kind of loosen this. Um, then yeah, just take it off like so. And we're gonna test fit this into the box. So I don't wanna put this heater in the deep part of the box because now we're gonna have to drill on the box. For these inlets, I don't want to drill. It's hitting the gas nozzle, but maybe if I could remove this part right here, that will give me a few extra space. So I think I'm gonna remove that. Oh, look at this. There's this, uh, I guess you can hang it if you don't want to install this in a box. There are some mounting holes in here, top and bottom. Anyways, let's remove this cover right here. Okay, so on the bottom, there's a screw here and here. We're gonna take those out. Okay. All right, so we gotta take off the knobs. And you just have to slide it and pull it up. Right. The front cover should come off. Now we're just gonna remove this shield. So um, there's, I think, six screws. So there's one here, and then two here, and then same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna take those off. All right, there it is. This should give us uh, maybe two, three inches of space in the box. those screws back in here and the knobs there you go I might have to remove this one too just so it's flat in the box so two screws there we go so 
that's what it's gonna be it looks like I'm gonna need some kind of 90 degree fittings in here all right guys so I got three of these um, 90 degree fittings they're half an inch um, female to half an inch male um, we're going to put 90 degree fittings on the heater and uh, we're gonna install it prior to securing the heater onto the box all right so I'm just putting the Teflon tape I know for the gas line it should be yellow I'll have the yellow right now I think the white one works too all right so now we're gonna put this 90 degree fittings Okay, so I've test fitted it in the box. It just barely fits. It actually clears this part. Now we're going to secure the shower onto the box. I've already marked the holes where we're gonna drill and we're gonna secure it with some uh, nuts and bolts. We're gonna drill the hole for the heater. I'm gonna be using this bolts, washers, and some nuts to secure the shower. All right, I'm gonna put the shower in. Screw is drilled. Hose drilled underneath. I'm gonna put the screw in. That will hold the shower in place. So there it is, we got a nut holding the heater. And then on the other side, there you go on the top part. One thing I forgot, you should put the battery in before securing it into the box. We're gonna connect the nozzle that came with the heater. And then we'll connect the um, hose, gas hose. So for the water pump, we're going to try and mount it in the box as well. I think I'm thinking like up here somewhere. We're going to try and mount it up there. One of the hose, this is just a plain hose. We're going to put it in here and then mount it on the box. Um, I'm going to put the hose first just to kind of test fit things make sure they're gonna fit cam plugs included these rings that will secure these uh, hoses in place so you just have to put it in and then on the water pump you just have to force fit this tube into the water pump and then secure it with this ring there you go we're going to do the same thing but first we're gonna cut it to length so I'm thinking of mounting the pump here. So this pipe, we're gonna cut it to length going into the pump. All right, we're gonna drill the hole for the water pump. All right, here it is. Drill the hole for the water pump. All right, we're going to like this here that will connect this pump just have enough slack so it can close freely I think that's pretty good I'll cut it like right here cut it to length put the ring that will secure it in place and just pressure fit this into the pump and then secure it in place boom this one is going to go to your water supply. It's going to go into the pump, into the heater, and then hot water is going to come out of this using this hose. I'm going to plug that in there. And then use the shower nozzle. Plug that too. And that's it. So, alright guys, we're ready to test. But first, I want to make sure there's no gas leak. So, 
I'm going to turn on the tank and check for leaks. I got a soapy water right here. We're gonna spray all the fittings and make sure there's no leaks. Looks good. All right, guys. So let me walk you through the setup. We got the propane tank right here going into the heater using this uh, hose. And then on the blue hose from the heater, water pump and then water pump is gonna go into our water source. Uh, water pump is going to be powered by our 12 volt battery. And last but not the least, the shower. We're gonna plug in to here. That's the water out. Okay, so everything's connected to turn it on. On and off is right here. And it's pretty hot. Okay, really hot right now. <laughs> I think we have to turn down the heat a little bit. Really hot. If it works, I'm gonna link down below where you can purchase this product. Thank you, Caplux, for sponsoring this video. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna be using this in the campsite, things like that. And make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.